Hello and welcome to this uh, brief training video on how to use scripts in the program. If you are running ShareScript Plus or ShareScript Pro, you will have access to uh, ShareScript, which is ShareScript's internal scripting language. You don't need to know how to program in order to take advantage of this. Uh, we have a huge library of scripts, which are essentially add-ons uh, that will uh, improve and expand on your ShareScript experience. What I'm going to show you is how to access, uh, how to search for them, and how to load them into the program. So firstly, let's start with lists. If you right-click on the column heading area of a list of shares, one of the options you'll see towards the bottom is add a share script column. Click on it and a window will open up uh, displaying the list of all the scripts that are available on your machine. Um, the program will come preloaded uh, with three defaults. Um, and the script library button on the right hand side will allow you to access our online library of scripts. Here you will find a huge number of scripts that uh, do well, all sorts of things. Um, if you're looking for something specific, say anything related to EPS, just type in EPS in the search box and below will be a list of all of the scripts that have uh, EPS either in their name or the description. Um, so we have for example, uh, GARP, which is uh, growth at a reasonable price, small to mid cap companies with EPS, ROC and operating managing trending up. Uh, I select it, click on download and install. And now the script is in my list of scripts. I click on OK. And in this case, a dialog box will open up, which will allow me to modify the settings of this uh, um, particular um, script. Click on OK and the script will appear on the column. This particular script is searching uh, for a number of criteria and returning a number to indicate how many of these criteria have actually been found. Uh, one uh, being the worst and seven being the best. If you want to uh, modify the uh, criteria that you used in this particular script, you right click and select Edit Column. The dialog box will reopen. And if you want to get rid of it, just like with any other column, right click, remove column. The next area where you can use scripts is graphs. If we move on to a chart, we can have uh, indicators uh, or studies added to the graph. Now indicators will work just like any other ShareScope indicator. We right click on the graph, we go to add indicator, and we should select share script indicator. Again, the uh, program will come preloaded with uh, some of these uh, some scripts, and again, you can search through uh, our online library by pressing script library. You select, click on OK, dialog box opens up, and the indicator will appear below the chart. Now, certain indicators uh, should be displayed overlaid on top of the main chart instead of an indicator box below. To uh, load a script on the main chart, you right click, other main graph features, share script indicators. Box will open up. Um, here in this white area you will see which scripts are currently loaded on the main chart. You can load up to four. Press the add button, choose the uh, uh, script you want to display, and the script will be loaded on top of a main chart. To remove it, you select share script indicators again, select and remove. The next type of script that you can load on charts are share script studies. If you go to other main graph features and select share script studies, again, a similar dialog box to the indicators uh, one will open up, we select add, and we can choose studies. The difference between a study and an indicator will be quite clear as soon as I load this, is that as opposed to being just 
purely an indicator line, so a line that will uh, just draw throughout the entire history of the stock. Uh, a study is something a bit more complex. It draws things on the chart. In this case, it's uh, attempting to identify uh, Gartley patterns uh, are based upon the price movement of the stock. Once again, if we want to remove a script, we right click other main graph features and select share script studies. Or alternatively, a study will always add a little indicator here in the top left with potential buttons. Um, if you want to get rid of the indicator, you right click and you select delete study. And away it goes. The uh, last way to use scripts is use them as alarms. If we press the edit button and decide to set an intraday alarm on the list that we're currently viewing, so FTSE 100 in this case, one of the alarm type options uh, will be a share script. Select it, uh, hit next, and we can choose a script. These uh, alarms will be based uh, around the uh, column scripts. So for example, if you want to set an alarm to identify a certain kind of technical cross, uh, simply select um, cross finder. This is one of the default scripts that comes with the program. Click on OK, and we can choose uh, amongst a whole list of various technical crosses. So for example, uh, we can look for a MACD crossing above the signal. We want it to use daily data, including intraday data. And we want to use a 13.26.9 MACD. Click on OK. Next, finish, and the alarm is set. One final kind of script are the share script tools. If you go to tools, and uh, select use share script tool, you'll find them in here. These are standalone scripts that will not display anything in share scope, but can be used for things like uh, exporting huge amounts of data uh, into Excel spreadsheets. If you are interested in learning and uh, to create then your own scripts, uh, if you go to our website, sharescope.co.uk, go to support, share scope at the bottom of a page you'll find a share script button and a link to all the tutorials and documentation and here you'll find the user guide and the full share script language reference the share script is based upon javascript so if you know how to program javascript uh, that's a bonus uh, all the share script specific commands uh, are then described in the uh, share script language reference As always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, remember that you can find all our contact details by pressing the support button in the top right hand corner of your screen, uh, where you can find emails and phone numbers. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for listening and goodbye.